Here's the Evander Kane double minor for high sticking against Tyler Myers. Tyler Myers was cut open on this. And I can already hear people telling me, well, it was more his glove than the stick. It was more like a punch to the face than it was a cross check. I've heard that all so many times. And they're going to say, well, it rode up because he was trying to hit him in the shoulder and Myers put his arm up and so it made it go up. This is a cross check to the head. There's no other way around it. You have your stick in two hands, parallel to the ice, up at head height, and you push it forward. That's a cross check to the head. He's lucky that was just a double minor for high sticking. And he's also lucky because this is the second time that he should have been kicked out of this game. The first time he shouldn't have even started the game because he should have been suspended for a slew foot on Quinn Hughes earlier in the series. And this should have given him a game misconduct and got him kicked out of the game. Instead, he was on the ice for the very last shift of the game, threw a big hit to create the turnover that led to the game-winning goal for the Edmonton Oilers. Now, granted, there's not much the actual NHL can do about this because they set the precedent with Susie and Zadorov of what cross-checking is. Blatant, flagrant cross-checks after the game is over that have nothing to do with hockey are one game and a fine. So what could you do with this one? But I don't have that issue because under the tough call system, cross checks to the head are a play that has nothing to do with hockey, putting them in my 6-10 to 10 game suspension category. Tough call would suspend Evander Kane of the Edmonton Oilers 6 games for cross checking.